Yo guys, what's going on? It's Frozen here, back with another video for today. First thing I'm gonna do is apologize for being gone. I am hopefully back, and hopefully two videos a week, and video, or I'm sorry, live streams as often as possible. All right guys, then before we get started with this video, first thing I obviously want to say is if you guys do enjoy the story time, I can do that, make it a, like a weekly series maybe, once like every other week. I have a couple other stories that I would love to tell all of y'all, but I don't know, like would you like it, would you not like it? I don't know. So let me know down below if you want to see it, hit the like button. If you do want to see that, subscribe as well. And let's just go ahead and get into the story. So basically, here's what happened. I arrive at camp and all of the cabins are taken except for one. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. My friend and I are there. Actually, Sylvanix, you may know him from my Discord. He and I went to the cabin. We're like, okay, this is a cool cabin. Doesn't matter. Cabins were a set of four people at this camp. And so we got in there, we were the first two in there. It was fine, it was dandy. We set up in like the back two, cause it's like a back two and then a front two and the door is like right here. Does that make does that make sense? I don't know. Anyway, so it's fine and we set up and then this kid's kid comes in. His name was Zach. Zach was probably, mm, I would say like six inches shorter than us. He was pretty short. And we were like, yo, what's up with your name, dude? Oh, he's like, oh, I'm Zach. I'm like, oh. This is Frozen. This is Sylvanix. That's not the names we told him, but that's the names I'm telling y'all. And it was okay. And then he was unpacking his stuff and he put up cat posters. Nobody brings posters to camp. You don't bring posters to camp. He's bringing cat posters. Why? I don't know. But he thought, meh, why not? And I was like, okay, you bring your cat posters. Just leave them on your side of the room. And I was like, that's it. And we didn't really talk to him for the rest of the day. Night comes, it's time for bed, or we go into the cabins. And we change our pajamas, but how we do it is we go, we go took a shower, because you know you get hot and sweaty, and you change your clothes in like the stall. Then, but here's the, here's the thing though. Zach, on the other hand, didn't do that. What Zach did was changed right there in front of us both, just butt naked. We were like, um, sir, you seem to have taken your pants and underwear off. Could you please not do that? And it wasn't, it wasn't, no one, no one wants to see that. It wasn't good. But you know what? We just didn't look and then we went to bed. That was it. What? Here's the thing. That morning, I kid you not, that morning, the same first, second, second, second first full day at camp, I wake up to him naked on top of me saying, get up. It's time to get up. And I was like, what? I was like, I was like in a sleeping bag. So I like curled up, got underneath it, like sh sh hold it shut with my hands. That way he couldn't get it. I was like, get off of me. You're naked. And it, it, nobody wants to, no, no, that's dumb. Nobody likes that, obviously. And it was dumb. And then he goes to try to get on my friend and my friend kicks him. He's like, stay off of me. It just, oh, it was not fun. This is ugh. like this. The, the, I'm on day one here, the full first day. And we're already him naked on top of us. It was not, it was not fun. Anyway, so we get dressed and we tell a counselor and the counselors didn't do anything about it. Why? I don't know. I was pretty much sexually assaulted and they did nothing. <laughs> it was... <sighs> so we get dressed and we leave. I try to leave without him. He tries to follow us. We tell him a counselor wanted him. So he goes and we bolted down to like the main area where you meet in the mornings for like flag raising, things like that. And we just tried to stay away from him. Because like, I, I guess I'm considered one of the cool people at camp, if you will. And then my friend, Sylvanix, was, you know, my friend, who was also then put into the cool section. Zach, Zach was, <laughs> Zach. <sighs> you was put into the, everybody don't look at him, please just look away, it's okay, just don't look at him, don't make eye contact, you will be okay. That's the category he was put into. And he just, he, he just wanted to hang out with, with Sylvanix and I. That's all he wanted to do. And we were like, please go away. I'm supposed to like you and stuff. And I really don't. I'm sorry. I don't. I'm sorry. I don't. You're, you're doing things I don't like. <laughs> anyway, that rest of the day was pretty much okay. The next day though, we, it's like midday. We come back to our cabin and there's a sign. And I'm like, what? So we go up to the sign and we're like, what is this? What did Zach do now? So we go up to it and it says, be quiet, we're having night terrors. And we were like, what is a night terror? Turns out night terror is a real thing. We 
didn't know what it was. We asked Zach. He said, I don't know what a night terror is. Nobody knew what one was. He just thought it was funny and wanted to put it up. And we were like, no, don't do that. Please don't. So later that day, it actually started pouring. And so what we did was we took that sign, put it in the mud and stepped on it. And we we're like, oh no, the wind, it blew it over. And he was really upset. He started crying to like two counselors. And we were like, I don't know how it happened. It just was there. And then it was down and we didn't do it. And then that was pretty much the rest of the day. We ended up not being able to go outside for sports. So they actually let us watch a movie. Like the only, I've gone there for like 12 years. Let us watch a movie once. That was it. It's rained multiple times. That was like the best part of it. That, that was pretty much like the best part of the day. Cause we got to watch a movie. We watched, watched Lord of the Rings, but it wasn't the regular Lord of the Rings. It was the VeggieTales version of Lord of the Rings. I was like 12. So it's fine. Anyway, then the next day, he pretty much just followed us around and followed us around and followed us around. And it wasn't fun and we didn't like it. And he had a crush on like six or so girls there. And he would try to talk to all of them. And these girls weren't just like regular girls. There's like this one girl. I'm not going to say her name. But she, she was really mean. I don't know why. She was pretty. But she was so mean. She had a couple friends. And like that, that was all she wanted. She didn't want to talk to anybody else. She didn't want to talk to me. She didn't want to talk to anybody else. And anybody else that talked to her or looked at her, she just was like, like, get out of my, this is, there's a 10 foot radius, stay back, I will cut you. And I was like, all right, I don't want to be your friend. But she, he had the biggest crush on her. Why? I don't know. That, who, I don't know who would. Actually, she has a girlfriend now. I follow her on Instagram. But still, who would? He came up to, to me, actually, and was like, I want to get her a gift. What do I get her? And I was like, don't talk to her. I was like, don't talk to me. Just stay away please just live your life don't talk to me don't talk to her she you don't want to talk to her and he's like i'm gonna give her this and he holds up a card like like a, like a playing card and it was the ace of spades she's like it's my favorite card i'm gonna give it to her and i was like you know what you got game go do it and so he did it and then whenever she was like go away he was like okay frozen told me to and then she came up to me and was like, why are you telling him to do this? Blah, 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 blah. And I was like, I did it. I told him to do none of that. <laughs> actually, I may, I may have. I told her I didn't though. And actually guys, this was a longer than I intended for it to go on for. So guys, this is actually gonna be part one. I might do a part two. If this video gets 25 likes, I will go through part two. And let me just say part two is a really funny part, which includes lots of throwing of water bottles more naked and more things that i don't want to speak about but i will if this video gets 25 likes guys so thank you so much for watching this story time if you guys did enjoy it and want to see more smash the like button and guys i will talk to you all later out